and welcome back. I just uh, finished prepping Rolo from Vikings and uh, just light sanding, getting rid of some of the uh, swirl marks from the printer process. This was 3D printed and by uh, Mike at NY3D Creations. It's a fantastic print and head over there and see if it's available to you. You know, he needed a little bit of sanding and some prep. And I, I still see some stuff I need to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint him with some high fill primer. And this is that primer, the SEM brand high fill primer. I opted to buy the, uh, the black primer. And there's the number for it. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on my flesh tones for Rolo. I've already coated him with a Steinol Res flesh tone and you can use any uh, medium type of flesh tone that you'd like in the beginning. You can use Vallejo brand, you can use Proacryl, paints like that. And uh, you can kind of see how that looks there. I matte varnished him with some Krylon UV or you can use the bare chalk matte varnish just to protect that coat. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a translucent coat of uh, Moon Yellow from Game Air Vallejo. I mixed in some water made it very very thin and just going to coat him. Coat his, his face first Got to be careful we don't want it to pool up or start to dry. Take a makeup sponge and just dab it. Make sure I don't have any pooling up of the yellow because I don't want that. on one side of his body. Take the sponge, pick up any pooling of the paint. I like that. Okay, there we go. I'll let that dry and then I'm going to go ahead and do a matte varnish over him. All right, so I sealed him up. He's dry now. Next, I'm going to layer on a thin coat of the Citadel Air Angron Red Clear. I've already mixed some of this in my palette. I'm going to lay it down all over. You can kind of see how it bubbles up, which is what I want, right? I want to, I'm going to get some specks out of this. And I'm going to tap it like that. And if I don't like it, I can take some of that off with water. Okay, so I'll go ahead and let him dry and I will put a matte clear coat on him. Okay, I'll be back. Next, I'll go ahead and add a, a blue shade to his skin. And this is the Citadel Color Shade Drakenhof Nightshade. And I put some in my palette already with some distilled water and I'm going to go ahead and apply it to them just like I did with the red. Remember I've already sealed them and I'll tap it off. Once again getting the full effects of the, the blue speckles and So I'll go ahead and seal that layer after it dries. 
I'll be right back. Next I want to highlight his veins. He has quite a few veins running through here, different parts of his body. So I want to go ahead and accent those veins just a little bit. And I want to use the same color, the uh, Citadel Color Shade, Drakenhof Nightshade. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my palette Take some of it off here. So next I want to add some dark freckles to them. And to do that I'm going to use Citadel Color Shade. Reichland Flesh Shade. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'll let that dry. I'm going to seal it and I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is start applying pan pastels and I'm going to start off with red iron oxide. And I'm just going to apply the red iron oxide to the cracks and crevices. And right now it's just being applied. And I will take a brush and Smooth them out. So I can take my brush here and I can smooth it out like that. I'm going to do his mouth and that will be fixed later top of the head our makeup sponge and wipe it off the excess which works great for that I am going to go ahead and do the magenta extra dark and very little of this is going to be used. I'm going to do it right below his eyes and just take a little bit here off my palette 
and like that. It looks great so far. I'm going to go ahead and seal them and I'll be right back. So now, the next step is to lay some color over these pastels and everything that I've sealed in. And now I'm going to lay down his shadow color, flesh tone color, and I'm going to lay it down in that angle, straight on the bottom. And I'm going to use Pro Acryl Shadow Flesh. So this is a darker flesh color and I'm just gonna lightly mist that from underneath okay I'm gonna mix that this into my airbrush use my SOTAR 2020 I've got it set at about uh, 25 PSI I can control it with my Mac valve if I need to that controls my airflow. And I'm going to mix it in the cup. Move him out of the way. Put my flow improver in there. Couple drops so my needle doesn't get dry. And uh, living in southern Arizona, we're very dry here. couple drops of the thinner okay and I want my paint to be a consistency of milk probably gonna put about five drops and take a old brush and mix it up I'm just gonna do I'm not gonna hold the air needle down all the way I'm gonna do like uh, just real quick Same with the back. Go ahead and clean my airbrush and I'm going to let this dry a bit and I'm going to give him another uh, I'm going to seal it once more before we go into the next layer of paint. Okay, he's all sealed up, so I'm ready for the next layer of paint, and this time I'm just going to lightly coat over his front and back. I'm not going to go at any certain angle. Uh, very lightly, I may go in close to highlight some areas. Um, this is going to really take down a lot of those heavy shades that we just put on him. So what I'm going to be using is the uh, Tan Flesh from Pro Acro. And this is by Monument Hobbies. And same thing. I'm going to go ahead and 
put a few drops of flow improver into my airbrush. I'm trying to cover up some of the, the splotches that were done. I'll let that dry a bit and I'm going to go ahead and seal them. I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do some highlights. So he's been sealed, but uh, if you feel confident that you're not going to make any mistakes between the overall tan flesh that we just put on and the next color, you don't really need to seal in between, but I did. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some highlights with uh, olive flesh, but this time I'm going to highlight from the top down. So I'm going to be spraying in that direction. So he's just going to be highlighted from above. Short bursts. Okay, I'll go ahead and let it dry. I'll clean out my airbrush and I'll go ahead and give him a, another seal coat. I'll be right back. Next, we'll go ahead and highlight. This is our second coat of highlights. This time with pastels, I'm gonna be using titanium white. And uh, he's all sealed up and ready for that. Now to do his face. So this will just be a little bit on his nose, the bridge of his nose. A little bit on his temples here. A little bit on his cheeks. makeup sponge here and remove some of it now I want to go back in with a little bit of iron oxide but very lightly bringing back some of those darker areas That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna one more little bit of pastels. And that's the magenta dark, extra dark. Definitely want to put a little more under his eyes again. Just a tiny bit. I lost some of that. Good. Good there. I think he looks good. 
and I may add some more pastels a little bit later but I think the achievement I wanted with his flesh spot on and I think I'm done with him so the next steps will be to paint his hair his beard and his eyes and of course his mouth and I'll do a separate video for that to show you how to paint the hair and his eyes and such so with that I hope you enjoyed how I paint uh, my flesh tones and uh, I want to thank you all who support my channel and all who subscribe to my channel Happy modeling, everybody, and take care.